welcome back to another vlog. Hello! <laughs> we were officially back from the beach. From Punta del Este. Yeah, and if you didn't actually know, we were, well, while we were away, they were renovating our bathroom. Mm. So. Our honeymoon was more honeymoon and fixing. And evacuation of the house so that they could destroy it. Yeah. But um, we ended up being away for a whole week extra than we had planned due to delays, which honestly sounds like it would be great having a whole extra week away, but it was really more of an inconvenience than anything. We made the most of it and had fun. Yeah. Of course, the honeymoon videos would have been the two before this one, but I did want to show you a little bit of a bathroom runner updates. Yeah. They asked for our opinion before it started, but then like they made all the decisions because obviously we're just renting this apartment, but there were lots of issues structurally with the bathroom that we didn't even realize but like we had our own issues with the bathroom on our level but it was like leaking through the floors and like messing up with the it um, basically like <laughs> over here as well like it, it, they have underfloor heating so mm -hmm. it has been so rotten and seeping through and just broken and messed up that it rotted through the copper the piping, piping and like the other i don't know if it was copper piping or whatever but the underfloor heating piping everyone just basically everything and was making the garage roof leak structurally unsound yeah so it was mm. not just like a um they weren't just making it pretty they were like fixing the floor yeah. so when they ripped up all the like concrete and found the pipe underneath that took a lot longer than expected and then they had to redo the floors because they set it wrong and it wasn't the right <laughs> angle and it wasn't letting the whole bunch of shit yeah um but so, it, it looks it looks nice it's, yeah it's, so i it's got a upgrade. yeah it looks a lot better than it did before and i did get some footage of what it looks like before of course there was the empty house tour as well if you want to go check that out but i did film just before we left the honeymoon what it looked like so i'll insert that now as well as every time we came home because we came back a few times to collect other things from the house or to drop things off and each time we came in i tried to like get a little Snippet. Yeah, a little snippet on my phone, so I will insert those all now. <laughs> Wind back. chimes, yeah. Oh, here in the back, back over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're back. Mm -hmm. But this is what it's looking like. Right. Oh, I just. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Secret. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's punched my head. So, one of the problems is that the door actually is like. Oh. Um. The door gets a little bit stuck and also our light switches haven't been fully fixed in yet. I don't think I even mentioned this, but when we came back on Saturday, they weren't even finished yet and it's still not totally done because again, they just delayed it so much. But we had brought all our stuff back, packed up, ready to move back in and we were not gonna leave again. So we were like, okay, we'll just make it work. But this is what it's like at the moment. So all the tiles are new. So we like the tiles and the floor tiles are nice as well. Very, well, a lot better than they were before. Mm. They put this little thing in for the shower, which is too small. And they're gonna come in and put they're a, already re extend it, it. And they're gonna make it bigger. Yeah, so we're wanting it to be more like to um, these tiles. Oh yeah, do you wanna point up here? Mm -hmm. like, no, they came in as, so they finished in the tiling, which was a, a fucking shit show before. There was holes all the way through it, all the way at the, long, uh, the bottom and stuff. They had to re-put in the piping through there. The bidet, we, I mean, we, we, don't, 
Yeah. We We're don't. not used to having one. So like it's sure it's a bonus, but it's not something we really use. Um, but yeah, we got <laughs> all new appliances. So there's a new toilet and bidet. And they gave us like this tiny little sink, but that still needs to be scrubbed to get all the stuff off. Um, but yeah, so there's like a few little patches like the, like the painting on the wall still needs to be done and the door because they put the new flooring in it. Do you want to come in or I'll just shut you out for a second? Um, the door didn't close. It's stuck up here. Yeah. But you can see because on the door frame it actually like it's chipped off a bunch of paint. So now it's going to sand off the top half of the door because they sanded it off the bottom stuck. and then they just didn't fit. So they sanded off too much and then they were like, well, yeah. we can't leave a gap. And there's also all like the problems with the paint, so it all needs to be, like the actual paint needs to be sanded off and redone yeah, anyway. Just, I doubt they're going to sand it off. So someone's probably just, well, the, someone has to come in and they said that they're going to paint this part. Like the, the, yeah, the, but that's the thing, you can't just paint over the chipping paint, that's going to look disgusting. But have you, have you seen our apartment? Yeah, anyway. So yeah, the electrical stuff is still a little bit dodgy and it just like flickers yeah, on and off. Yeah, like the geezer plug just sort of... Or does this one just hanging? Oh yeah, shock wire! I call it that because if you take a shower and you touch the wire, you die! So yeah, otherwise it's definitely an improvement on what it was, but it was just very annoying that it took so long. But yeah, little bathroom update. Stop it! Hmm. So the plan for the rest of the week is we actually just went and... But my coffee's on the bed! Oh, I don't know. <laughs> So the plan for the rest of the week is just to kind of settle back in here. I had all these plans for this week. I was going to start my Spanish classes, but they start every week on a Monday. And because we didn't get back till Saturday and it just was a little bit last minute. So now I'm going to start next week, but we did just go and check out a few gyms today. That's what we've been up to. We've got a free pass for one of them for the next week. So it, it looks really nice and I think I'll like it. The only issue is it might be, it's busier than the other one. It's nicer and closer. It's also pretty busy, I think, because of the pandemic. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are just like, what the fuck else am I going to do? Yeah. I don't and summer's coming, so everyone's probably like, want to get, you know, beach ready and yeah. whatnot. And it's but also like, I don't want to sign yeah. up at a gym that I'm going to have to sit around waiting for equipment. Well, it's also like a lot of people have decided that, like, the pandemic is like, well, if I'm sitting around for three months and I haven't done something, then, like, you know. Yeah, we've both gotten a little, um... I learned a lot chunky. I I lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little chunky and, a little, and I went for a run yesterday and I didn't even tell you this, but I was really out of breath. So I don't know if it was because I hadn't drunk much water beforehand, like my throat was all like... Well done. Not good. So I think I was going That's for funny. runs at the start of quarantine, but then in the last month or probably month and a half, because it's been miserable weather and we've had the dog and he doesn't behave when I go running with him, so I've just not been going, but... It's all about to change. Time to get things back into shape. I also want to go look at like some sewing stores to get a sewing machine, get a few more, not necessarily this week, but at least look at getting some furniture pieces, like decorating the place like I've wanted to for the last two months, but we just haven't had the funds. So we'll see what else happens this week, but of course I'll update you as it happens. How's the song go? I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Can't remember. Secret tunnel. It's like da, na, na, to rediscover. I don't know how the rest of the song goes. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Yeah, that's really great. <laughs> okay, it is officially Wednesday now, and I just got a package, so I thought I would open it on camera. This is a little package from Tia and Mia. It's basically like a third-party company that orders stuff through Amazon or like eBay and then they just handle all the import taxes and stuff so that's how I've been getting my stuff and I have a few more things on my wish list to be getting so that's kind of my plan for the next few weeks I've been stocking up this box here is actually a whole bunch of wigs well I also got some more film for my little um, HP printer so I've got three packs of 20 so that should last me for a little while and the rest of it is wigs so i'm gonna make a whole video on these i'll probably film it tomorrow and it should be up on my channel by the time you're seeing this video so i'll have it linked down below but okay so i just tried on this one obviously but i'm gonna save the rest until tomorrow when i film the actual video but i went out and surprised alejandro while wearing it 
and I filmed it all for TikTok, so I'll go follow me on TikTok if you want to see it. But yeah, I mean, they're cheap wigs, but you'll see more in the video where I talk all about them. So they look kind of cute in photos, but in person, pretty fake. <laughs> okay, welcome back. It is now actually Saturday. And I just want to show you a few things I got at the shops yesterday. So the last thing I would have talked about was when my wigs arrived. So I just went and grabbed this like big box to keep them all in, which seems a little bit crazy. But unlike most people I've seen here on YouTube talking about wigs, I don't have a like $2 million house with a whole room for my glam room. So I'm going to keep all my wigs in this plastic storage box. I also just got some little box storage things that I'm going to put in the bottom of my wardrobe because I've actually just been keeping all my things like my activewear in the little, um, these are like the little travel divider <laughs> storage key things, but this is going to be so much easier for me to access. It's going to stand upright, be able to let me keep more things in there. So that is my plan for right now, is just to sort all my stuff out, but I also picked up a few other things that I wanted to share quickly because I was having a really good day yesterday. I finally, after like two months, called the bank and sorted out some issues I was having, but that might sound crazy that I put it off for so long, but it was with my Australian bank and living here. It just kept coming up with so many excuses, like I forgot my password, it's going to be a hassle to try to... Um, confirm my identity a lot of my paperwork is back in Australia still blah 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 and then every time I went to call I was like oh it's 2 a.m. there I can't call now even though it's actually a 24-hour hotline so I could have called anytime but as you can see I just knew it was gonna be a hassle and I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off but I finally did it yesterday and got it over and done with and everything is sorted so I just was feeling really good <laughs> about that um, and also, I'm officially signed up for Spanish classes starting next week. So I'm planning, I think, on doing like a little week in the life or something. But I probably won't do that until the second week of classes because I don't want to overwhelm myself straight off the bat. But I did get some new notebooks. So this one I think I'm going to use just for my Spanish stuff. And then this one is just for like to replace my other notebook that is now run out. So I have a specific one that I use for my YouTube videos, but for anything else, like planning like meals and stuff, I needed somewhere to put that. And then just some little like stationary bits and bobs. Some stickers that I actually forgot about. And then just some pens. So nothing outrageously exciting. Again, I went to the store all by myself, managed to communicate with the people at least averagely, but yeah, and now today I'm gonna to go to the gym for the first time. We were gonna to go together, but Ali's actually sick again. So instead of waiting until Monday, because they're actually closed on Sundays, I'm just gonna be brave and try to go by myself. But yeah, I'm excited to go and I don't wanna wait. I've been waiting all week and I just want to get it over and done with and get the first session out of the way. But first, today mostly because as I mentioned earlier Alejandro is sick and therefore couldn't come with me and that might not seem like that big of a deal I used to go to the gym all the time by myself for years in Australia but here I was just nervous about going by myself and having to explain to the staff like that I was new 
that we came in the other day and have a little like one week pass and whatnot and if case they tried to show me around and like tell me things about the gym i was just was like oh my god i'm not gonna understand what they're saying and yeah so i was a little bit nervous about it but in the end i psyched myself into going again and i'm glad that i did so gym is all done for the day i am exhausted more tired than i have been like physically in a long time i have been doing little mini at home workouts lately but if i'm honest i have never been that self-motivated to work out at home i just I don't know what it is about being in a physical gym that just makes me want to actually try so much harder but it's just a whole different vibe so that is gonna be probably it for today I think I filmed quite a bit so this will probably wrap up this vlog like I said this week coming I am starting my Spanish classes my first class will actually be on Tuesday and then I'm doing Tuesday Thursday Friday for two hours each that will be intense to go from like nothing to a lot. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of prep sometime between today and Tuesday. And we also have to go on Monday and get a few things done like errands and stuff. So I'll maybe film a little bit of it. Who knows? Uh, I think we're a little bit backed up on vlogs at the moment. So we've got a few that still need to be edited and uploaded. So we'll see when I film. Well, when we film next, hopefully you're actually feeling better by next week. Mm -hmm very enthusiastic but on Monday we're gonna try and go to the gym together yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed gym <laughs> time gets full get big <sighs> but thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and see you next time